All right, guys, so uh, we'll come to you with another video. I hope all is well with y'all. Um, so another uh, Negro League uh, fighter report that we have is with Devin Haney, the Devin Haney saga. Now, here's the thing with me. I don't want to report on a fight that has not, like, been put pen to paper, like, that the paper hasn't, that, that the pen has not hit the paper yet, you know? I don't want to do that. You know, because what happens is it's like, okay, you get your hopes up and you're like, okay, we're going to get this fight. We're going to get this fight, you know, breaking news. We're going to have this fight and stuff like that. But it is, again, we still don't know if the fight's going to happen. Um, the thing is, is this. It's only so long Devin Haney can stay at 135. Okay. Um, now, here's the thing. Here's some of the reasons why that Cambosis wanted to fight Lomachenko instead of Devin Henry. Number one, this guy just knows that you know his chances may be a little bit better because you know Lomachenko has some short T-Rex arms um he um you know a little bit more of the same height of thrombosis right and the like thereof right now, with um, Devin Haney, it's the opposite. Devin Haney I, I, is bigger, number one, and he has longer reach, right? So, many people will say, oh, especially Devin Haney haters will say, oh, you know, Devin Haney's a weight bully. This, that, and the other. The way I look at it is, as long as you're still making the weight on the scale on fight night, it is what it is. Make the weight. Okay? So, with that being said, um... It goes back to the comment that Jojo Diaz made. Which I, I, I agree with. All Cambosis has is that overhand right. And then on top of that, um, he, um, you know, Jojo Diaz said that Devin Haney will walk through Cambosis. And, and, I, and I believe it too. I, I really don't think um, Cambosis has anything that would really give Devin Haney anything to think about, you know. Um, Tim Bradley with his uh, butt looking ass. This dude's a butt looking bro. Has came out and said that... Um, you know, Devin Haney is vulnerable to um, cambosis. Um, it's like, bro, please just shut up at this point. It's obvious you hate certain fighters. You know what I mean? It's very obvious. So, um, with that being said, The, re the other reason why Cambosis doesn't want to fight Devin Haney is for the simple fact that Devin Haney is a Negro League fighter. He'd rather give up the belts to like someone of the same complexion, right? He went as far as to say even in an interview that 
I don't know why he sent this is and this is uh Cambos's words. Okay. He said, I don't know why he's saying that I'm ducking him when Lomachenko would stop him. So my question is, why don't you have that energy and why don't you say you would stop him? You know what I mean? Like if you were that confident in your abilities, you wouldn't say Lomachenko would stop him. You would say you would stop him. And you know, if Lomachenko wanted to try to stop him, he had a chance. But he he decided to say, hey, Mauricio, um, franchise me. Right? So it's all BS, you know. And now this fool has the audacity to give him a deadline. Saying clock is ticking. You have three days to sign. And they've been trying to sign. It's really obvious this dude did not want to fight him. Um, again, bro. Unfortunately, I'm just going to say it. The, the boxing world is afraid of a black Thanos. You know? Old media is afraid of a black Thanos. Imagine if Shakur collects all them belts at 130. They're not going to like that. Imagine if Devin Haney collects the belts at 135. They're not going to like that. If David Morrell collects all the belts at 168, they're not going to like that. If Jerron Ennis collects the belts at 147, they're not going to like that. Okay? That's just the way it goes. And unfortunately, a lot of these boxing channels do not like boxing. They like boxers. Now, granted, I have my favorite boxers, but I also believe in fair play. If you earn your spot, you earn your spot. Okay? And that's just it. Devin Haney has earned his spot. Cambosis was a mandatory for Tiafimo. But before that, ain't nobody heard of that fool. Ain't nobody heard of a damn Cambosis. I, I haven't, I didn't hear about a Cambosis. I don't know if y'all did. I didn't hear about Cambosis, man. I don't know, man, sometimes when you become champion, the energy changes quite quickly. So, I'm going to keep this video brief. I don't, I don't know if we're going to get this fight, man. Because um, even he he tried to get Lomachenko to come back. But he Lomachenko decided to stay. And who's to say that Lomachenko would even fight Devin Haney? If he won, if he won this fight. If, if this fight was made and Devin Haney was victorious. Who's to say that Lomachenko will fight him? That shit may not happen. Real talk. I mean, the fact of the matter is, Devin Haney can't, is going to have a trouble making 135. I'm going to end it with the fact that. You know, Devin Haney be hurting shit and sparring, knocking shit out, breaking shit's nose. But he's he's at a bigger weight most of the time. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, bro, like we'll just wait and see what happens. I'm I'm not confirming the fight. And I seriously don't see it happening. I'm sorry. I I really don't see it. I really don't because the energy from this guy has completely changed and you know I know it sounds bad I know it sounds bad what I'm about to say but well, I'm gonna end the video on this note I wouldn't be surprised if this fool actually holds out for Ryan Garcia to fight Ryan Garcia I would not be surprised at all it would not surprise me whatsoever if he waits until Ryan Garcia ends his um this fight and then fights this um and then 
fight soon. But that's all I got for now, guys. Fully signing out. Enjoy,